Okay, this lesson covers some material from unit 7, 8, formulas and measurements. We're on to box E here. We're talking about cylinders. By the end of this lesson, we should be able to find the volume and the surface area of cylinders and be able to solve for the unknown dimensions of objects given their volume or surface area and other dimensions. We'll do a question kind of like that at the very end of the lesson. So what is a cylinder? Well, a cylinder is a three-dimensional object. It's got a circular base and its sides go up perpendicular to the base. So it's kind of like a prism, but the shape of the base is a, is a circle. And it only has sort of one big curved side that goes around the, uh, around the entire shape. In terms of the volume, we can find the volume of a cylinder the exact same way we found volumes of prisms. We can use the general formula, area of the base, times height. So as I've mentioned, the base of the cylinder is a circle. So even though this is sitting on its side, this circle here at the end is our base. Okay. Now, if we want to find the area of this base, well, how do we do it? How do we find the area of that circle? What's our formula? Anybody know? Cool. Yeah. Pi r squared. And then we're going to multiply it by the height of our cylinder here. So this is pretty straightforward. Um, what is the radius of this cylinder here? How do you know that 3 refers to the radius? You're absolutely right. But how did you know that? Because the line. And where does the line start and where does it end? Yeah, it starts in the center and it goes to the edge. So it only goes halfway along. So you know that that represents the radius. Beautiful. Um, and for pi, I'm just going to use the value 3.14. So we've got 3.14 times radius squared. So that's 3 squared. And what's the height of this cylinder? Well, even though it's on its side, the height is sort of the, the length of this curvy side. So that 7 meters is going to be the height. And then we just need to evaluate this expression. Remember, order of operations, you want to do that squaring first. So the 3 squared before you do any of your multiplication. So I'm just going to write that step out like that. Okay, 3.14 times 9 times 7. And I get 197.82 meters cubed from my volume, okay? So same general formula, area of base times height. Um, and remember, all of these formulas are on that formula sheet that I gave you back at the beginning. If you, you can use that formula sheet on the tests, on the exam, sort of anywhere you want. Well, what about the surface area? Well, if we're going to do surface area, we again, it's helpful to think of taking this thing and unfolding it and then find the area of all of the shapes. So we've unfolded our cylinder here. We can see that what we get when we unfold it is two circles and two rectangles. Okay, sorry, two circles and one rectangle. We know how to deal with the area of these circles because we sort of did that to find the volume. We know that each of these has a radius of three and a radius of 3. So when we go to do our surface area, I'll just do SA here for surface area, we are going to have the area whoops, of, let's say the, I'll say the area of the base here. And because we have both a base and a top, we're going to need two of them. So two times the area of that base. Our other shape here is a rectangle. Okay, so we know the area of that rectangle is just going to be length times width. Okay, how do we find the area of the base? We know that, that's pi r squared. This rectangle here, though, is a little bit trickier. 
what are what is the length and the width of this rectangle? Well, let's start with the width from here to here. Okay. How long is that side? That side, that's it. seven meters, right? That's just the height of our of our prism here. Now, what about this long side? Okay. Do we know the length of that side? No, we don't. So we're going to have to do a calculation to figure out what it is. Now, keep in mind, if we imagine taking this and rolling this back up, this long side here in red has got to sort of wrap itself all the way around one of these circles here to sort of wrap up like this. So the length of this long side here is the distance around the outside of that circle, also known as the circumference of the circle. So how do you find the circumference of a circle? It is 2 pi r. You're absolutely right. Okay. And if you didn't know that, it's on the formula sheet. So if you got to the test, you'd say, oh, you just look it up. So, we know that the length of this thing is going to be, oh sorry, the area of this rectangle is length times width. We figured out that the width is 7, and, um, or the, the height of our triangle, of our uh, cylinder here, and the length here is 2 pi r. So this formula is often written 2 pi r times the height. And that's the formula that you're going to see on your formula sheet. So we just need to sub in our values here and evaluate. So 2 times 3.14 times 3 squared plus 2 times 3.14 times 3 times 7. And by now we're just punching these numbers into our calculator. So we can sort of jump right to the final answer here. This is, I get 188.4. Meters squared.